What's going on everybody? My name is Steven Wimberly and this is Working with Wimberly. And on this video, I'm gonna show you how to replace the upper control arm on your 2015 to 2020 Escalade and similar GM SUVs and trucks. So this is the passenger side. I've already installed the new upper control arm and I did not have to remove the strut in order to do that. So that was great. And you'll see white markings on the side here that I did to try to get it back aligned. So let's move over to the driver's side where we're going to get to work. All right, so on the driver's side, here is the old control arm. Have the new one right there. And before I take anything apart, I'm just going to use some white out and mark the sides of the alignment bolts and cams. just so we can get this close to the original position when we put it back together to get us to the alignment shop. All right, I have my markings on both sides. And now the next thing we're gonna do is remove these two 10 millimeter bolts so that we can get the level sensor off to the side and get the ABS bracket out of the way. And that first bolt, I'm just gonna put that back in place so I don't lose it. And the second bolt that we took off from right here, I'm just gonna loosely thread that into the new control arm so that we don't lose that one. So now this gives us room to get to the control arm. Now I'm going to use an 18 millimeter wrench on the nut at the bottom of the ball joint and get this loose. I'm not going to take it all the way off. I'm just going to get it loose. I have the nut on the ball joint loose. And you should be able to tap the side of the knuckle right here and pop this free. On the other side, I wasn't able to do that and I had to use a ball joint separator. So we're gonna to try to hit it here and break this free. If not, I'm gonna to have to use the ball joint separator. I had to use the ball joint separator, but I did get this loose. This is it right here. So with the ball joint loose, we're gonna move on to the two nuts on the upper control arm. And I'm gonna use my 21 millimeter wrench to loosen and remove the nuts. I've got both nuts off on each side. And in my opinion, this is the entire job right here. As long as you can get these bolts out, you're home free. Now on the passenger side, one of them came out easily. The other one was at a weird angle. I had to fight with it and I pushed and pulled the control arm back and forth and I was finally able to wiggle it out. I also had a little bit of trouble getting it back in. I had to tap it in with um, some socket extensions. But this side looks like we're gonna be in good shape. So I'm gonna to try to pull these out. I got one out and that's great because with the control arm loose you can kind of wiggle it around and move it which should help you get the other bolts out as well finish taking the nut off of the ball joint right here I've got the nut off of the ball joint and now we can pull this up and now we have all of the room we need to wiggle this around and get that bolt out so 
so the other bolt is back there i'm actually just going to leave it so when i slide the new control arm in position i'll try to just push that through but again that's the hardest part as long as you can get those two bolts out you can do this with no problem real quick if you're not going to watch the video this far i will say that the torque on the ball joint is going to be 37 foot pounds and the torque on the nuts on these sides is going to be 140 foot pounds now i'm going to put this on time lapse because everything that i'm going to do is just the reverse of removal The new control arm is in. I had to wrestle with the bolts a little bit, but I felt like the driver's side was actually easier than the passenger. So everything's in there and it's snugged up. Again, this nut needs to be tightened to 37 foot pounds. Unfortunately, the torque wrench doesn't fit in this small space right here. So I'm gonna to have to do it by hand with my box and wrench. These two nuts need to be torqued to 140 foot pounds and i have my torque wrench and we have enough room so i'm going to get these two torqued down of course i've already bolted down this bracket and this bracket with the 10 millimeter bolts so i'm just going to get everything fastened up and this job is done and this job is done. If you found that video helpful, be sure to subscribe to the channel, give it a thumbs up, and leave a comment. God bless you all.